Hi. I recently got a wonderful comment, a sort of uh, complaint, which is a wonderful sort of compliment. Why am I not posting more videos? Well, um, a number of factors can come into play. I would love it if I had all the time in the world to devote to this project. But even if I did, uh, today's video would be, I think, a demonstration of part of why things slow down at this point. Because although I do have at least another 400 or so uh, sutras uh, already uh, uh, described in my notes and so on, from the beginning, I've been very ins insistent on trying to go beyond the core discussion the, the the core that Prabhakar Shastri gave me directly and move toward what I think of as the fuller understanding and operation of the grammar. So uh, while today is definitely not a quiz, because I'm going to do my best to give you the information about uh, everything we're discussing. <clears throat> At another level, I would say it's also definitely a test. It's a test of your, any one person's uh, interest or commitment to a deeper understanding because uh, today's video will require considerable work considerable work and thought and maybe time to really take in all of the issues at play in fully understanding this simple little sutra. I think I've said before that sometimes the simple little sutras are the ones that are hiding great complexity. And certainly this is one if we are to uh, fully understand what's going on with it. It's just one word. It's just a word. It doesn't have any fancy uh, operations on the actual word. Um, it's not shashti stane or anything like that. Um, it's just a word. Ahun. Ahun. No big deal. 8268, 443 in Siddhanta Kaumadi. 8268, 443, uh, ahan. Anuvrti is padasya ruhu, padasya ruhu. So the full sutra would be ahan padasya ruhu, ahan padasya ruhu. And we would give it as a translation. Ru will come in place of n at the end of the pada ahan. Ru will come in place of n at the end of the pada ahan. Well, that doesn't sound like a big deal. So if we had an example of ahan plus bhyam, then here ru, which uh, to the naked eye is just er, but we know is secretly ru and not just any er. Ahan plus biyam, the n of ahan, which comes at the end of a pada. And as the sutra says, ahan is a pada, then it, it, the n of ahan is replaced by ru. So we would get ahan and plus biyam, it would be ahar plus bhyam with ur as ru. And now this would all ultimately be in the uh, direction or, uh, of permitting the correct derivation of the form aho bhyam, aho bhyam. Okay, uh, no big deal. Uh, but there's one little wrinkle we have to start out with. Ahan. 
how is a Han really a Pada? Well, I have uh, mentioned in the recent past that while Sutting Antampadam is uh, true as far as it goes, that there are all sorts of little twists and turns in the grammar. And this is where some significant twists and turns occur. In order to understand them, we have to go to a couple of sutras we have not uh, previously discussed. So the first of these is 1143 or 229 in Siddhanta Kaumadi. Sada nupamsikasya. Sada napumsikansya. The meaning of this sutra is the three endings of Pratama Vipakti. The three endings of Pratama Vipakti and the second two of Dvitiya Vipakti, meaning everything but Bahuvachana, these get the name Sarva Namastana. So Pratama Vipakti, Pratama Vipakti, all three. Uh, uh, voices, uh, Ekavachana, Dvivachana, Bahuvachana, they all get, the endings of these all get the name Sarva Namastana. In Dvivachana, I mean in Dvitiya Vibhakti, only the Pratama and Dvivachana uh, forms get the name Sarva Namastana. So now we have a Sanya Sutra that we have not previously uh, explored. So now we have this new idea, Sarva Namastana. So here's where the plot thickens considerably. 1, 4, 17, and 2, 30 in Siddhanta Kaumadi. Uh, this is an example of how helpful Siddhanta Kaumadi is, uh, not in uh, learning the sutras originally, but in understanding how they go together often, because this is the one directly following um, uh, 229, Sada Nupamsikasya, uh, which is actually very far away in, uh, in uh, Ashtadhyayi. So, Swadishva Sarva Namastane, Swadishva Sarva Namastane, or Swadishu Asarva Namastane, Swadishu Asarva Namastane, except Asarva Nama, except for Sarva Namastana, which we just defined. Except for Sarva Namastana, when a consonant beginning soup termination follows, the preceding will be called Pada. Ha! Normally, there has to be a soup anta there, and that whole thing is called Pada. But for these forms, the what we would have called the root itself becomes pada. So when we look at ahan plus byam, <laughs> byam is a soup termination which begins with a consonant, we will say hal. So but so ahan plus byam at this point then by this sutra 1417 to 30 ahan is itself a pada. And that's crucial because otherwise today's sutra doesn't work. <laughs> so now we have the, the basis to start on, uh, to go a little further on uh, our Ahan uh, Sutra today. 
So the next thing is, Ru will come in place of N at the end of the Pada Ahan. Ru will come at the end of the, in place of N at the end of Ahan. Now to understand this, we need to go back to two sutras we have discussed before. And here's where that extra work comes in. I will review them basically, but uh, I strongly advocate that if you really want to get a, a, in touch with this a whole topic that we're entering into more deeply of Ru, <clears throat> that you go back and look at the uh, videos uh, of these two sutras. Um, now, the first sutra is 61113 or 163 in Siddhanta Kalmadi. And there's actually two fairly long videos, not very much watched so far, but that's okay because they're long in anticipation that the day would come. This is the day when it would really matter understanding them. So the video, there are two videos for 61113, which is a Tororo Plutata Plute are 107 and 108, 107 and 108. And they go into much more uh, detail because these are detailed uh, issues. But the core meaning of a Torora Plutata Plute is when a Raspa A that is not Pluta follows, now, the, the following Sutra 108 goes into the particular detail of what the heck it means for a hrasva a not to be pluta, and why is that important? When a hrasva a that is not pluta follows in place of the preceding ru, which follows a hrasva a that is not pluta, u shall come. So, under the conditions of being preceded by a hrasva a that's not a pluta and being followed by a hrasva a that is not pluta, ru is replaced by u. And the examples we have are shivas plus archeha, shivas plus archeha, which becomes shiva ru or shivar with ur, the ur of shivar being ru by Sasaju Shoruku, which we've just recently discussed. So uh, Shibas is a ending pada, and by Sasaju Shoruku, this is replaced by Ru. So here we have Shiva, Ru plus Archyaha. The Ru here is preceded by a Hrasva A uh, in, uh, in Shiva and followed by a Hrasva A in Archyaha. Now, exactly why that is not important, why it's important that that it's not Pluta, again, is discussed in the next video. Um, and it has to do with what's a Siddha and what's not a Siddha. So the outcome, without going into that business at the moment, of a Tororo Pluta is Shiva plus U plus Archiha. Shiva becomes Shivar. Shivar becomes Shiva U Archiha. Now the other sutra that we need more do, in a sense more directly is six one one fourteen one sixty six in Siddhanta Comedy at video one oh nine. This is uh, takes into account, this is derived from a Torora Plutata Plute, which is the Anuvrti here. So the Sutra is Hashicha. The Anuvrti is a Torora Plutata Plute Uhu, which is why we had to go over that first. So the whole Sutra here, the full Sutra would be a Plutat 
अतः रोहो उ अपृथात अतः रोहो उ When a hush follows in place of the preceding ru, which follows a short a, uh, a short non pluta a, uh, u comes. So it's the same except in, instead of being followed by a uh, short hrasva a uh, that's non pluta, it's followed by hush, hush. So for an example, we have shivar. And that in and that uh, in this case that ur of shivar is ru, plus vanyaha becomes shiva plus u plus vanyaha, v being hush, and ru the ru of shivar being ru preceded by a non pluta of. So. In our example, we had. Ahan plus Byam. Ahan, today's example, we have Ahan plus Byam. So that's the same situation as Shivar plus Vanyaha because Ahan plus Byam became uh, Ahar Byam. Ahar Byam by today's Sutra 8268. And after that, the Ahar plus Byam becomes. Aha plus U plus Bhyam by 61114 Hashicha because by Ahan we get Ahan, the uh, N of Ahan is replaced by Ru and you get the Ahar Bhyam and then the Ahar, which is Ru plus Bhyam, is replaced uh, by U by 61114, this one, Hashicha. So we get Shiva, I mean, we get Aha plus U plus Bhyam. So now the grand finale is and this is where the work comes in, I think, which is making sure you actually understand each of these steps and how these sutras weave together to make the fabric of this form. So we start with ahan plus bhyam, bhyam being a soup, also being a, a consonant beginning soup. So that's how we know that it's pada by 1.143 and 1.417. Then we have ahan plus bhyam becomes ahar plus bhyam by 8.268 ahan because we have the n followed by uh, by the soup pyam. Then uh, we have a ha plus u by six one one fourteen. And uh, six one one thirteen. So the uh, Ru of Ahar is replaced by the U by U, and we get Aha plus U plus Bhyam, and then we get by our old friend Ad Gunaha Aho Bhyam, Aho Bhyam. So all of this, all of these sutras, and all of this uh, background is required to derive the form. Ahobhyam, which is very different than the Pratama Vibhakti Ahaha, Ahaha, which we will see derived uh, very shortly.